Just out at the batch today, checking the damage after the recent flooding. Not too much damage here, a couple of slips, but um, nothing too major. But There's not a lot of power coming off the solar panels today. On days like this I have to use the generator, and it's giving a bit of trouble, so I'm going to try and get it sorted today. It's just running really rough. Sounds like a fuel issue to me, like it's starving, starving fuel. So uh, I'll either carburetor or blockage in there maybe. So pull it apart and see what's going on and try and get it running a bit better because without it, we've got no power on days like this. When it's raining with no sun. First of all, check that spark plug. There's quite a bit of carbon in there. Um, that could be the problem. So clean that up. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's sparking well, so put that back in and try again. But the fact that that um, plug is all carboned up uh, makes me think there's probably a fuel issue, possibly running too rich, maybe. We'll see how that goes. that's still not right so I'm thinking probably a fuel problem go through the fuel system and um, check everything out that tap on and see if the fuel is coming out of there yep there's plenty of flow there so there's no blockage between the tank and the tap and now we'll move on down the line could even be a blockage in the air, air cleaner sorry about the, uh, the poor light in here but I don't have any electricity at the moment, I'm just going by torch light. Alright. Oh, that's looking pretty black there. What's that about? Um, we might have a bit of blow by coming through. That smells like fuel. Yeah, it could be overfueling because I can see a bit of fuel in there that means the a float valve isn't shutting properly, possibly. So we're going to have to take that carb off and have a look. Normally it's something pretty simple. These little four strokes. Uh, I'll just hang that off to the side for now. gasket there. It could just be a blocked um, float valve which is causing it to overfuel. So it's quite clean in there. Um, obviously the filter's doing its job. I'll blow through the fuel pipe and see if that float valve is shutting. Float valve seems to be shutting, so that's okay, that can stay in. It seems to be clear enough, so we'll put that back together and uh, see if that's made a difference. Try and get that bloody seal back in there. That shaft is slightly loose in there, so maybe it's letting air in there through the top there and down because it's, it's it done a lot of hours this thing. 
as it's possible. See there is a bit of oil that's been coming out of there. Maybe the rings are getting a bit poked or the valve seals. That comes out of the, um, that's the breather from the uh, valve cover. It's been spitting a bit of oil on there. All right, I'll give it a test just with that air filter off um, see how it sounds then if it runs fine like that um, but bad with the air filter then we know that's what it is turn that fuel back on Let's see how she goes Clogged air filter. Um, I'm guessing that's probably from the blow-by from the valve cover breather, which has saturated this filter and um, it just made it so the air can't get through. So yeah, I'll get another filter onto that and it should be all good. It's obviously a very fine paper filter and it doesn't take much to block it up. Alright, I don't have one of these filters on hand and I'm like three hours away from the shop, so um, I'm just going to use this fine cotton mesh for now. Let's put that over and um, put a rubber band over it because otherwise we'll have no power. <sighs> That'll keep the batteries charged until I can get another filter for it. It's a pretty old uh, generator, but it should go for a while yet, I think. It's probably due for a set of rings or valve seals, but um, yeah, it's, it's sounding all right now, so I'll just keep running it. It's good, we've got some power for today. Right, now on to the next job. Got to fill up these flounder. Catch you later, guys.